Hey guys, John Trousdale with Power Auto Media here at SEMA 2012. We've got some big innovation in motor oil to talk with. I'm here with Lake Speed Jr. with Driven Racing Oil. Lake Speed, tell me about this new MPAO technology. All right, mate, it's a brand new technology that's really revolutionary. Uh, we obviously, uh, Driven Racing Oil being born from the Joe Gibbs Racing Team, we were seeking a solution to a problem that was created uh, by the two car draft scenario at Daytona and Talladega. Well, you know, all oils get thinner as they get hotter. Right, so the guy in the back is losing oil pressure and all this mess because the temperatures are getting so high. And well, then you got to put thicker oil in there to try to fix that. But then when you're trying to lead the race, well, now you've got too much drag. So it was creating this real, you know, bad situation. And we, trying to seek some solutions, we came across this brand new MPAO technology, which most people probably have no idea what that means. But you know, regular synthetic oil that has been around for 40 years is based on what's called PAO or poly alpha olefin synthetic base oil technology. And, and that's good stuff, definitely better than conventional mineral oils in terms of temperature stability. This new MPAO is the next generation that increases that viscosity index. So the oil basically is more stable with temperature. Very cool. Now, one of the key advantages you were telling us about is the viscosity index. Tell us a little about that. All right, yeah, viscosity index is kind of the scientific word for basically how much an oil thins out with temperature. You know, again, all oils get thinner as they get hotter. You can kind of think about, you know, your pancake syrup. You pull out the refrigerator and it's really thick. And you pour in your hot pancake, it thins out. You know, motor oil does the same thing in your engine. It kind of glugs its way in when you pour it in, but once it get hot, it thins out. Well, the key is you want to have the thinnest oil you can with still maintaining that protective film in the engine. So as the temperature ranges, the temp engine changes, the oil needs to be able to resist changing. So like the viscosity index of a conventional mineral oil is around 100, where the PAO is 150. This new MPAO, the viscosity index is almost 200. Right, so that allows the oil to be more stable with temperature, which allows you to actually use a thinner oil that gives you the same bearing oil film thickness as a higher viscosity grade. For example, a guy who would normally run a 2050 conventional oil can now run a 10W40 synthetic based on the MPAO and have the same bearing protection as the 2050 gave him, but get the efficiency in the cooler temperatures of the 10W40. This also has some anti-foaming properties that are pretty interesting. Oh, exactly. As you go up in viscosity, you know the oil wants to hold air more. Right, but as you have higher horsepower motors with more load, you, you need that that film thickness, right, that, that bulk viscosity to protect against the load. Well, that means it wants to hold air. With this new MPAO, it actually releases air better. So it doesn't hold that air in there. So you can have that film that you need to protect it from the load, but it's not foaming, because obviously uh, it's really critical on like street performance engines with variable valve timing because that variable valve timing is typically driven by hydraulics, which is the motor oil. And the more the oil wants to foam, the more it will be spongy and compressed. And that can lead to, you know, the bad thing called piston assisted valve return. You know, <laughs> you don't want that. So this new MPAO really gives you that temperature stability. It gives you that anti-foaming characteristics that gives you the right type of product for what we're doing with these engines today. Okay, and real quick, you also said that you found there's less friction in this oil. Oh yeah, I, always nice, you know, third side benefit is, yeah, it actually reduces friction. You know, for the same viscosity oil one to the other, we were able to gain, you know, one to two horsepower in a NASCAR motor. I mean, that may not sound like much to a lot of guys back at home, but in a highly refined, highly tuned engine, one and two horsepower, that's big gains. You know, when you take that down to a, a production style motor or a street strip motor, those gains will be incrementally larger uh, because of the, the inherent higher friction in those engines. So the MPAO really is a win-win-win on all fronts. So what oils can we find on the market now that have this technology? Uh, for a racing guy, we have the XP9, which is you know the first you know full synthetic racing oil developed with the MPAO technology. And then for your street performance guy, we have the LS30, which is the uh, first street performance oil that has the high level of zinc that's developed specifically using the MPAO technology. Very cool. This is very exciting new technology in racing oil. Where can we go to get more info? Uh, DrivenRacingOil.com is our website. We have three brand new YouTube videos that have just been posted up there that really give you the background details of the MPO technology and how it can benefit your performance engine. Very cool. New technology from Driven Racing Oil. You can check it out online. Thanks for watching Power Auto Media at SEMA 2012.